America's new number one fast food restaurant, Del Taco. What? You might be thinking, I've never even heard of that place. Me too. They operate primarily in the western states. I passed by a couple of them when I was traveling, but little did I know I'll see them again as number one fast food place in the US. There happens to be one in Virginia. And so, I was on the road wishing I would travel at light speed, but in reality, I was sitting in traffic for nearly five hours. Here I am in Chesapeake, Virginia, about 200 miles Ooh. south of Washington, D.C. And I present you the one and only Del Taco in Virginia. Yeah! Woohoo! Woo! All right, all right. And here are what people are saying about this place. Catherine said, I've never even heard of Del Taco until now. Mm -hmm. Wait, why am I reading the reviews? This isn't I tested one star drive throughs Well, I got started. Let's continue. Here's Shay's review. Eh, the food was just eh. I saw a woman walking in the restaurant as a gentleman was walking out. She asked, so how was it? He replied, it was okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't exactly good either. That's an adequate description. If I were already in Chesapeake and wanted a Taco Bell vibe but actually wanted vegan options, I would return. Is it, oh my gosh, I have a taste for Del Taco. Let's drive all the way to Chesapeake to get some good? No. Hmm. Well, thanks Shay. How, how'd you know I was gonna do that? Wow, okay. Um, yeah. Here, Sarah gave a one-star review in which she said, Make sure you don't park directly in front of the building because you'll be stuck due to long drive through lines. Okay, uh, let me, uh, I'm just kidding. My car's right here. Anyways, of the reviews in between the hype, long wait, and food, tacos seem to be the culprit of most negative reviews. They're tiny and flavorless, Ooh. while the praises are burritos, of them being big boy sizes and amazing. So, let's head inside and see what the new king of fast food has to offer. My only rule here is I'm gonna feast and give you guys a 100% honest review of everything I try. Alright? Del Taco. Oh, what is this? Mobile pickup lockers? Huh. The screen was hot enough to cook a steak well done, which explains why it wasn't working. Set inside. It's a party in here, guys. It really was. Some 14 staff members behind the counter, probably making 500 tacos every hour, customers lining up to the door and taking up all the seats, except few awkwardly placed tables like this one. What was cool was that they had a dedicated table for a socially awkward person like me. Here, let's take a look at the menu. Now, for those who are indecisive, you better study the menu ahead. Like, fries alone have five different options. Unfortunately... Is it possible to upgrade the fries to like cheese fries or... Not for the fry box. Not for the fry box, okay. Crispy chicken fries, double dough cheese burger, one dough taco, grilled chicken taco, epic loaded queso burrito. Is in here? We're running out of space to stand. Yeah. Alrighty, alrighty, huh. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this, this is heavy. Oh shoot, Inferno. Okay, stupid me. So this is actually the same color as Taco Bell's Mild. I, I just grabbed two of these thinking this is mild, but no, I should have read. Is this, could this be the cheeseburger? It's cold? Wow, gigantic heavy one. Crispy, one soft taco and chicken with side of chipotle sauce. That empties the bag. Let me start with the very bottom three piece chicken and fries box. All right. Oh, it smells amazing and it's hot. This is very hot. These are the crinkle, was it? Crinkle fries. Now, all right. Mm. It's hot, but a little soggy. I don't know which one took so long, but some of them were sitting, waiting to be packed. 
good, but not yet three hours worth of drive. All right, chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, I think this is this probably was what took them so long. See, ah, <laughs> I'm trying to do this for you guys. Ah, but it's so so hot. According to Del Taco, this is boneless chicken breast with rib meat. Very delicious and very salty. Yeah. It feels like the chicken strips and chicken nuggets that you have as a kid. Yeah. The at home chicken strips. Add it with, you know, whatever the seasoning. Mm -hmm. It adds a nice touch. Mm but it doesn't turn it into something astonishing like that you can only have outside, like from Chick-fil-A's, right? Try to get in that. Mm. Mm. When you get this box, the side of sauce is free. So yep, do utilize that. Mm. Oh, wow. That is a lot of cheese. Honestly, might even be enough for three. Mm -hmm. Three tacos at Taco Bell. That is just astonishing amount of cheese. Ooh. Mm. I don't think these tacos are tiny. No, right? Mm. So this was Del Taco. You know, the taco, right? That that taco's number one item, I guess. Tacos being tacos, it tastes like Taco Bell's taco, right? Except this has like three times the amount of cheese and actually a lot more beef too. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for sour cream. Ah, you know what? I think I get their point. I think I understand the negative reviews, tacos being tiny, uh-huh. It's the soft tacos. It's right on my palm. Yep, right on my hand like that. Hey, uh, did you forget where the camera was? Chicken's actually really good. Like really good. Like if I could replace every fast food restaurant's chicken with this chicken, I'd be very happy to do so. Like Chipotle, Cava, you know, all the places that have chicken as a topping. Oh, this is actually, huh. I swear I'm only doing this for the video, guys. I I swear, really. All right. Wow. This is not slappable, right? You can beat someone with this. And the burger. Burger was questionable from the start because when I first took it out of the bag, it was actually cold. Oh, what is this? Do we have a Five Guys here? The melted cheese. Oh, that, so that's not cheese, actually. Okay, that is cheese. All right. They're all stuck as one giant piece. Patty seems more in line with Big Macs. It's the biggest hem so far. First, it's cold. Not even warm, cold. The button sort of reminded me of Burger King's. Patty is very close to the Big Macs, but then I noticed it's lacking that firewood, what was their word? The flame grilled filling, you know? Cheese wasn't as thick as Five Guys. I'm not sure what, what the burger is trying to do. Yeah, it's not bad, but um, it reminds me of the Shay's review. Eh, yeah. This big guy, this is still warm. Not hot, but in between warm and hot. Yeah, so something was definitely off about the burger. This is the heaviest burrito I've ever touched, held, or tasted. Will taste, uh-huh. Ooh. Okay. That sticky queso. Now I asked for a steak here, mm -hmm. instead of the chicken. Here we go. Mm. So cheesy and so sticky. Mm -hmm. With the combination of cheese and queso, it's gonna stick in every part of your mouth. Yep. You would definitely, definitely need some hot sauce on this. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. I know this isn't KFC, but I think this is the right time to say finger licking good. This isn't over. This isn't over. I didn't want the desserts to go cold, so I didn't get any. But... Okay. First, best milkshake ever from any fast food place. Mm. Nice. That's how shake should be. That smells nice. <clears throat> Here, oh, it smells so nice. I got each of their desserts. They have three dessert options. I guess four if you count the shake as well. Ooh. All right, mini churro. The donut. And was that caramel, caramel cheesecake? I'm curious about this one. So caramel, I know what it is. Cheesecake, I know what it is. But caramel cheesecake, huh? Right, is this gonna explode upon? Well, only way to find out, right? Oh, okay. So it has that white cheese. Okay, I see caramel deep inside. Is that caramel, right? White is cheesecake. Mm. <laughs> so sweet. Oh my goodness. Sweetness overload. That cheesecake filling is so thick. Wow. Like I took a small bite. It feels like I, I did like a mouthful, a spoonful of whole cheesecake. Oh my goodness. Mm. Sweet all the way. Yeah, it's not like a delight touch, a hint. No, all the way. They were very clear about what they're trying to make here. Yeah. Now this guy, as I know, as soon as I take a bite, you know, all the sprinkles are just gonna. All right. Mm. So sweet. <laughs> you all know what this is. Wow, they really put a lot of them here. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, why did I do that out of camera? Uh, anyhow, yeah. As you would expect. Mm. Call me a weirdo, if you will, but both the churro and the donut would have been perfect. Perfecto for me if it wasn't all the sugar sprinkles, but I guess that's our style, right? American dessert. You gotta make sure you have that, that overdose of sugar sweetness uh -huh, to make you forget all of your bad dreams and yeah, nightmares, right? Mm. My, shake, my shake doesn't taste like chocolate because <coughs> of too much. <coughs> I'd say these two, you can try them anywhere. But this guy, definitely give it a try. Whoa. Ah, oh, I had a blast. Yeah, I had a blast. I'd say like this is a four star, four star experience. Yeah. If you have many kids or you're out with your friends, many of them, and you guys can't decide where to go, or if one of your kid wants a Big Mac, the other one wants tacos, and the third one wants a Chick-fil-A, oh no, Chipotle, and you're like, oh, you know what guys? Let's go to Del Taco, uh-huh. You can all get sort of what you want, uh-huh. That'll do the job. That's what it feels like. I would consider Del Taco as an alternative to Taco Bell, definitely. Uh, I don't know if I would consider, I would have like a day where I'm like, I wanna go to Del Taco, yeah. Questionable. Let's see. Oh, you know what, actually? I might have days where I crave this shake. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much guys. Goodbye.